Hello and welcome to Waterman Wellness, your pathway to health and wellness with local experts as your guides. I'm Michelle Wargo. We have a lot of helpful information for adults and children in this episode, including We'll get advice from a local physician about how to best identify allergies and potentially avoid symptoms. A local expert will explain how an elderly loved one can remain independent with a little help. And we'll visit the Connery Creation Health Kitchen to learn a recipe that contributes to healthy aging. But first, we want to tell you about a recent accomplishment at a local hospital that contributes to the health of our community. The Intersocietal Accreditation Commission, or IAC, has awarded Florida Hospital Waterman's Heart Lab with a highly acclaimed accreditation for its echocardiography services. It is the only hospital lab in Central Florida with this important designation. Also known as ECHO, an echocardiogram uses sound waves to create a detailed picture of the heart. We use the echocardiography to basically determine um, heart diseases or disorders that can be um, done with these echocardiography procedures. These echocardiography um, echoes can diagnose um, aortic aneurysms, pulmonary embolisms, um, any malfunctions of the heart um, or any sort of abnormalities. The IAC accreditation has basically set us apart from other facilities and the fact that we actually have national standards that we abide by um, for our quality of care, for our equipment that we use. English says the Echo Lab staff combined has more than 85 years of experience. Our next story is for the guys. September has been designated Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. And a local Florida hospital waterman physician wants to make sure the men in our community are in the know. Approximately 233,000 new cases of prostate cancer are anticipated in 2014. More than 29,000 men are expected to die from the disease. Initially thought to be a disease of older men, prostate cancer among younger men has increased sixfold. For prostate cancer, there are rarely symptoms that, uh, that present before it's caught on screen examination. So um, there is a, a common misconception that needing to go to the washroom frequently, having some blood in the urine, that those are presenting complaints of uh, early onset prostate cancer. Uh, that's just really not true. Dr. Michael Fountain says men need to be more diligent about getting screened regularly, especially if there is a history of prostate cancer in the family. It's like most other things in medicine. If we can catch them in a timely fashion, you'll have more options for intervention. The most important uh, take-home message for any patient with a prostate, have it screened. He says the PSA test, which is a simple blood draw, is an important baseline screening that men can get when they go to their primary doctor. For some men, the prostate cancer experience stops with diagnosis. If they have less than 10 years life expectancy, genuinely, and if they have a fairly low grade, uh, low stage disease process, sometimes active surveillance or observation is the most acceptable course of action. And what we'll find is that the disease process is not progressing rapidly and it's not posing a threat uh, to the patient and if the cancer is not going to hurt them and it's not going to kill them and it's not going to cause any quality of life problems sometimes it doesn't need treatment that's becoming a more popular uh, strategy of therapy when caught early the cure rate for prostate cancer is very high nearly 100 percent of men diagnosed at the early stage will be disease free after five years just as men should get prostate cancer screenings, women should act as well. Gynecological cancers often present without symptoms. For Karen Ingalls of Tavares, her ovarian cancer diagnosis in 2008 occurred during her annual gynecological exam. The doctor discovered a melon-sized tumor. Ingalls said she had noticed bloating, but figured it was just normal female issues. My first and only symptom I had for several months was bloating of the stomach. And at 67 years old, that's not an unusual thing for us women. I'm a registered nurse. I had no idea I had a, even a possibility with this bloating that it could possibly be ovarian cancer. So I've learned a lot and my purpose now is to inform every woman do not ignore what we think are pretty subtle symptoms. 
Ingalls is undergoing chemotherapy since a recurrence was discovered in February. She says she's feeling well and the tumor is gone. She's also very active in the cancer support group available at Florida Hospital Waterman, where she shares her story and receives companionship from other survivors. The Gynecological Cancer Support Group meets the second Tuesday of each month from 12 to 1.30. Participation is free. Please call 253-3605 for more information. The medical community encourages regular well woman exams and pap smears, and prostate screenings for men, especially when family members have been diagnosed with cancer. The reason is that genetics can increase the chances that a person gets cancer. Now, Florida Hospital Waterman doctors are excited about the potential that genetics can play in treating various cancers. We're moving towards is more of a genetic profile for the cancer, where someone might have a cervical cancer, which is part of a gynecological cancer, or a, a lady might have a cervical cancer that, that is completely different than another person who has the same kind of cancer just based on the DNA of the cancer cells. By having better genetic markers and being able to target the cancer, uh, therefore I'm able to use less invasive chemotherapy to achieve the desired effect. And when you use less invasive, less harsh, less toxic chemotherapies, you have less long-term side effects. Dr. Al Hazuri stresses that prevention methods and early detection of cancer contribute to better outcomes for patients. We know that exercise plays a critical role in our health and even in helping to prevent cancer. Sometimes we need a little help getting started with a fitness routine that fits our lifestyle, but at the same time improves quality of life. The Con Recreation Health Center at Florida Hospital Waterman has just the thing to get you on the right path. Beginning Thursday evening, October 2nd, a 10-session weekly class will show how to start a physical activity program with key nutritional elements. It's actually two classes in one that will leave you strong and fit for life. The course is $50 and includes materials. Visit ConRecreationHealth.com to register. We now turn our attention to our children and a common condition for them, asthma. This can be especially concerning in the fall and with the kids back in school. That's because increased exposure to allergic triggers can lead to asthma symptoms. Here in Florida, we're already in the ragweed season, one of the worst times of year for people with allergies. Children with asthma tend to stay home from school three times more often than kids without the disease. When exposed to triggers such as pollen, dust, mold, or pet dander, some people experience itchy nose and sniffles. People with allergic asthma can experience more severe symptoms such as coughing, wheezing, and having trouble breathing. Allergies and asthma often go hand in hand. So the important with those diseases like allergies and asthma is knowing your triggers, knowing what sets off your asthma attack or your allergy attack, and then avoiding those triggers. Um, sometimes that's easier said than done. Dr. Diaz says children may be allergic to things both inside as well as outside, and some triggers may be especially hard to avoid. A common trigger of allergies, especially indoor allergies, are dust and dust mites, and they're everywhere. There's no way to really get rid of the dust mites. Um, things you can do to help are use um, allergy covers on pillows and sheets, um, washing sheets and linen in hot, hot water regularly. Um, really limit how many stuffed animals you have in the room. Dust mites love uh, stuffed animals. Maybe if you have a favorite stuffed animal, throw it in the freezer for a day, then wash it, um, and that'll help kill a lot, of the, a lot of the dust mites. Dr. Diaz recommends that parents keep a symptom diary to help figure out what may cause your child's asthma flare-up. Think about what he or she came in contact with, such as smoke, strong perfume, or a family pet. The notes may help you know what triggers to avoid in the future. There's more to come after the break on Waterman Wellness. It's time to get on your feet and join the fight against breast cancer. Coming up, we'll tell you about some fun community activities that you won't want to miss. We'll share information about a Lake County program that can help a loved one stay independent and stay at home. 
and our nutrition experts will introduce us to an ancient grain that has wonderful health benefits when we visit the Conry Creation Health Center kitchen. These stories and more are coming up in a few moments. But first, Waterman Wellness wants you to know about some upcoming events, classes, and seminars that can help you stay on the path to wellness. Stay tuned! Welcome back to Waterman Wellness, your path to healthy living with help from local experts. I'm Michelle Wargo. You've heard the saying, there's no place like home. That's especially true for the senior members of our community. Being in familiar surroundings, especially after an illness or accident, can contribute to one's happiness and recovery. Florida Hospital Waterman's private duty care offers skilled help while fostering independence. Someone coming home from the hospital or rehab could use private duty services to help assist them get um, more comfortably transitioned back to home, to their home life, from catching up on, on housework and groceries to making sure they're safe and stable on medications to communicating with the doctors and families how things are going to know if they're getting all of the care that they need. There would be a number of different situations where someone could use the private division. It could be for something as simple as shopping, errands, um, transportation to and from doctor's appointments, or it could be something um, as significant as 24-hour care involving uh, bathing, personal care, uh, bedside assistance, companionship, safety. The Florida Hospital Waterman Private Duty Care Aid can come into a loved one's home for as few as four hours. The care is covered by some insurance plans and does not require a doctor's referral. Private duty absolutely can help someone um, stay home. In the home, most people are more comfortable. That's the place that they know, that's where they want to be, that's where they're calm and that's where they're safe. And private duty assistance can allow them to do that for a longer period of time. As we age, our bodies may need certain nutrients to help keep us strong and functioning well. Registered dietitian Stephanie Bassett and Florida Hospital Waterman Executive Chef David Atkinson are in the Connery Creation Health Kitchen to tell us more about a healthy grain that has geriatric benefits. Welcome to the Connery Creation Health Kitchen, where we are joined by registered dietitian Stephanie Bassett and Florida Hospital Waterman Executive Chef Dave Atkinson. They are here to tell us about an ancient grain that has been enjoyed in Italy for thousands of years, but just now seems to be making its way to our tables. So Stephanie, what is this grain? It's called farro. It's the mother of all wheat. The mother of all wheat. I yep. like that. <laughs> so what are we doing with farro today? Um, we're making a salad with toasted walnuts, edamame, and cranberries. Okay, so Chef Dave, this is now where you get to take over and tell us what is in this farro salad. Well, this is a real quick and easy side dish. Basically, everything's just going to get mixed together. We're going to make a little vinaigrette with our apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, honey, salt and pepper, and our walnut oil. And then we're going to add the toasted farro, chopped walnuts, diced celery, chopped chives, chopped green onions, dried cranberries, and the edamame. So this is the vinaigrette? Yes. Uh, we're going to make a little emulsion, first of all, with our vinegar, mustard, and honey. And then we're going to slowly drizzle in the oil. You're making a vinaigrette out of this walnut oil. I mm -hmm. didn't know that walnut oil existed. It does. It is a little bit more pricey than olive oil is, um, but it has really good flavor and it has good um, heart healthy benefits as well with the vitamin E and the unsaturated fatty acids, which are good for your heart. So now that we have our dressing, we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients. What are the nutrients that we're getting out of this side dish? We are getting a lot of fiber, and that's mostly from the farro and from the edamame and the cranberries as well. We're also getting a lot of protein, and that's primarily from the edamame as well. It's a plant-based protein. It has no um, cholesterol or fatty acids in there, so it's all good for you and tastes good as well. 
you'll find the complete farro salad recipe online at watermanwellness.com. Enhancing cardiac care in Lake County will be the focus of an upcoming community event. The Florida Hospital Waterman Foundation Ladies Legacy Luncheon will raise money for the hospital's heart care services. The hospital's chief of surgery, Dr. Sebi, will be the special guest speaker, and attendees will have a chance to meet a variety of exhibitors. The luncheon will be held Friday, October 3rd at Lake Receptions in Mount Dora. Tickets are still available. Call 253-3270 to make your reservation or visit the Foundation website. We also want to give you a heads up on a series of events that will take place next month in our community, and they could be life-saving. The Florida Hospital Waterman Pink Army will reunite for the third straight year to take a stand against breast cancer. Become a foot soldier in the effort to draw attention to awareness and prevention while learning about advances in breast cancer treatment. It's better to learn sooner than rather later, because I was one of the lucky ones that found out sooner. But waiting around for the possibilities could be so much worse. And there are treatments, the doctors are amazing, the team is amazing, and you, you become the stigma, you become a better person. Additionally, the Pink Army will honor breast cancer survivors. Here are some of the public events planned for October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The iconic Florida Hospital Waterman Fountain will take on a rosier shade October 1st. Then, join the Pink It Up celebration on Thursday, October 9th at 4.30 in the Florida Hospital Waterman Atrium for the official kickoff of the month-long observance. Do something good for your body by participating in Pink It Up Pilates in the Park on October 16th at 5.30 p.m. at Wooten Park. We know exercise helps prevent cancer, so be a part of the Pink It Up Pink Army 5K Run Walk on Sunday morning, October 19th. Put your foot down against breast cancer. And then join Florida Hospital Waterman Physicians and Cancer Survivors on October 24th at the new Tavares Pavilion on the Lake in downtown Tavares for the Breast Cancer Awareness Luncheon. You'll find information about all of these events plus important resources to help you by visiting the website jointhepinkarmy.com. We hope you've enjoyed this month's Waterman Wellness, your pathway to healthy living with help from local experts. Be sure to watch for the October episode right here on Lake Sumter TV for some of the following stories. We'll continue our observance of Breast Cancer Awareness Month with insight into advances in treatment and reconstructive surgery. A local doctor will help prepare you for flu season and we'll take you back to the Conry Creation Health Kitchen to learn a colorful recipe that looks good and tastes great. To learn more about the experts featured in this program, visit watermanwellness.com. Until next time, I'm Michelle Wargo for Waterman Wellness.